Okay, y'all. So, I just have to come and tell y'all something that just really just... It just really just, like, got under my skin, okay? Like, I don't know if y'all know, but, like, this this company, okay, um, uh, PinkCoutureHair.com, like, they have, okay... This is how I found out about them. Like, um, you know the the guy, what's his name? Tokyo Styles or whatever. Um, you know, the one who lays the lace fronts and everything, like who's just so awesome or whatever. Just love him anyways. So he um he uses their frontals a lot and like, you know, he's always advertising like their company, you know, he used their company a lot on his Instagram and that's how I seen it and then you know you guys know like I buy hair from everywhere you know I'm, I try anything and so um you know regardless of what people are saying anyway because you know you just your experience is always different so anyways I had decided to go ahead and order a frontal from them right so I placed my order on July 6th and if possible I always check out through PayPal because it's just it's better that way because I've had like bad experiences you know ordering from um, ordering like another way through other companies and stuff like that so I always use PayPal if possible and so I did and so when I checked out it was it was let me look at my dates because I don't want to get messed up it was like July 6 right um before I buy anything from a company I read the website like I read everything on it I, I read the shipping process and everything to see like you know will it work for me am I willing to wait that long so, you know, I went through all of that and it said like a 7 to 10 day processing time and all that. And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I wasn't really in a rush for it. I just was, you know, I'm just like kind of shopping around just to get some, um, because I ordered some another, I mean, a frontal from some other company as well because I wanted to compare the two and see which one I like that I can, you know, actually get my clients to purchase or whatever. So, anywho, after I purchased, you know, after I went ahead and put in my order on July 6th, um, I got like a confirmation back, you know, saying, uh, thank you, you know, like, well, not thank you, but like an order confirmation, um, saying like, you know, payment accepted or whatever. And then right after that, like, right after that, I received a message from PayPal saying like, like a day later or so, it said, it wasn't even like a whole day, it was like hours later, it was like your payment wasn't processed, you have insufficient funds, your bank returned it, and so now I'm sitting here like, what? Your, your bank did, huh? Because you know, like I know what I have in my bank account, and like I would, I'm not going to purchase something if I don't have it. So, I didn't know what was going on. So, I contacted PayPal, and um... Their process is like it, it's it's long, like when you're on the phone trying to call them. But if you like send them an email, they'll shoot you one back like really quick and everything else. But um, you have like a 24 hour, 24 48 hour like period, you know, grace period before they like answer you and stuff. And so when they said that, I was like, oh my. Now at this point, the only thing I had received from Pink Couture Hair was um. Order confirmation, you know, like payment accepted or whatever. But then after that, I received the PayPal information. So, you know, saying it was declined. So when I went on the website on Pink Couture Hair, it, it said, um, like it said, order history it just showed the order for the frontal. Like it didn't say anything under it. Like it didn't say, you know, like I didn't have anything that, that said like, uh, you know, like any anything on there that said like, okay, did they receive a notice? Because my issue was thinking that, um, you know, did they receive a notice as well saying like the funds are not there so my order would be canceled. That's what I wanted to know before I try to like go in and repurchase it like, you know, through another account or whatever the case may be until this gets settled. So PayPal um, had got back with me, but they informed me I had to wait, I had to call them, I had to verify some documents because it was some like issues going on with my account. And then, like, it turned out that I had, like, a fraudulent purchase through something else or whatever. And so, they went ahead and froze and everything. I had to wait until I can send information off and all this other stuff. So, um, I attempted to tell the company that, you know, I sent them a message that same day because it was just, like, hours later when I received the first PayPal notification. So, I sent an email to them on July 6th. Um, I sent another email to them on the 7th. I sent another email on the 8th. And I sent the email on the 9th. Okay. Um, to paint couture hair and my 
first few emails I asked like did they receive the payment because like I didn't receive like a like any type of shipping or tracking type confirmation or anything from them and now granted when I said that I was not meaning that I wanted to get shipping information um because like I wanted my shipping to be in two days I was saying like you know most companies like if you if you buy something from them like even they have a long processing time whenever they uh, they accept your payment they will send you information back not necessarily with the tracking number but it would say um okay we received your order you know we, we we confirming your order we have it uh you will receive tracking information you know after our seven to ten day processing time or whatever the case may be so by no means was i meaning that i wanted to rush the actual order but because of the payment thing i just wanted to make sure that was straight right but now i'm not getting like no response from them and i'm like okay so i don't know if i need to like um purchase it through my husband's account to make sure they got the funds or because I didn't want it to be an issue, you know, like with them maybe sending me their merchandise and then it's not paid for and then like it come back, you know, and it was like an issue. So long story short, I contacted them a few times. I also left a message under the order, like a little order status section um, on the website. It says uh, like you can leave messages or some, however, add a message to the order and stuff. And so I was like, well, my PayPal account can't be verified or whatever. Okay, fast forward. Here it is the night. Um, it's been a few days. PayPal is not letting me do anything. I have to wait on them. Also, the company never responded to me. So I'm like, okay, maybe let me try the Instagram page. So I sent a message on Instagram um, at that morning. I waited, I waited, I waited. You know, like I, I saw one the day before as well. Because I was like, maybe they can respond faster through there or whatever the case may be. So um, what I noticed is that, like, the comment that I left before was, like, gone. So I'm like... Well, maybe they're deleting my comments <laughs> because I, like, I was like, okay, let me try it again. So, I'm seeing that this page is active because, um, you know, you're, you're posting, like, people like whoever, whatever, posting the owner, whatever, like, you're posting pictures. So, it's like, okay, so you just posted a picture four minutes ago. I posted a comment, um, you know, like a concern or issue. I posted that, you know, 10 minutes ago, like an hour ago, like you never answered me. So I'm like, okay, so at this point, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like pissed about it. I'm like, okay, what the fuck? Like, so I email them again and I'm like, oh my God, like, you know, I emailed them and I send them a direct message. I'm like, okay, so you delete my comments. Nobody's answering me. Like, I just need to find out like if you have my order or whatever, like I didn't get any information, like maybe about shipping or payment and stuff like that. So... This is what the owner does, okay? She calls me, and she's like, um, we're not even open yet. But anyways, she's like, we're not even open yet. But um, anyways, our website says that we have a 7 to 10 day processing time. So that's why you did not receive any of your tracking information and stuff. And so like, okay, she said what she said. And I was like, and she's like, I didn't receive any emails from you anyway. The only emails I can see I received from you is in my spam box. And like, I'm seeing that now. And so I'm like, okay, so... That alone right there, that attitude, initially pissed me off, right? But I didn't say anything. I was like, well, here's my issue was the PayPal issue. Um, I wanted to make sure you got it because they said, like, the funds weren't there. And that was my initial concern. So as long as you got it, like, I was like, I understand the process in time. You know, I did read the website. Like, that's not my issue. I mean, I just didn't receive anything after I placed the order, like, you know, that would say, well, we got it. The, the payment's good. And, you know, whenever it's done processing, we'll give you tracking information. That's all I was saying, right? So, um, she's like, you um. But yeah, we're not even open yet, and I'm calling you, and uh, and we don't respond to things on our Instagram page. That is not professional. It's not professional for us to comment about our business on a page. And I'm just sitting right there like, like, what the fuck? Like, what do you mean? Not professional. Like, what is bad about me asking? Like, I don't feel it. Like, that's not my first avenue to contact a company anyway unless that's the only place you are on is Instagram or whatever. You know, that's like your most active place. But... If I sent you numerous emails, you're not responding to me. And so I'm like, okay, well, let me try Instagram because I see they're real active on there. And then you delete my comments and you're still not fucking responding to me. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, at that point, it's like, um, I mean, 
where else, where else do I respond? Like, what, where else do I put something there to get a response? Like, it took me, uh, like, kind of sending a, a, a agitated fucking email or message, like, what the fuck, y'all deleting my comments, for you to actually call me. Like, that is unprofessional. If you want to talk about what's professional, like, that's unprofessional for you to sit right there, you know, and finally respond to somebody after they say something fucking rude to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that, that just, it just got to me, but it's like, okay, safe face, you know. I'm sitting right there like, okay, well, oh, well, you know, it's, it's not an issue. You know, it's not the processing time, not the issue. She kept throwing it in my face. She's like, it says 70 10 day processing time. But here's my thing. I was not talking about the processing time. I was not saying I wanted shipping. As in now, I was like, I was making sure the funds was there and I had to repurchase it. Oh, whatever the case may be, you know, do like another avenue or whatever. So she kept like cutting me off every time I say it. And then she's like, yeah, so I mean, we can't do nothing about that. But you didn't say anything in your email about about. PayPal, uh, the email I'm looking at, you said um, you want shipping information. And I was like, she made it seem like I was saying, sh it, it, it could be possible that I said the shipping stuff. I was like, I didn't receive any type of information confirming anything. But um, that's all I meant by that. I didn't mean like, bitch, like, this is my fucking, like, this, this is my fucking third day second day after my order and i ain't got an order yet like ain't come to my house yet like that's not what i was saying i was just saying that i you know like i needed to know like if the payment and everything went through so granted probably by my fifth email that i sent y'all last i mean okay maybe i did just say mention the shipping and didn't mention the paypal part anymore like i don't know but the thing is i sent you numerous emails you know what i'm saying like i sent you more than one and then you're gonna tell me um they're in my spam box like i i just see one in my spam like maybe it all went to spam okay here's my okay when i'm sitting right there typing you a message and i'm sending you an email and i press fucking send i can't determine if it goes in your your damn spam box or your fucking inbox you know what i'm saying but since you are a company and you're so professional the professional thing to do is when you're checking everything like your comments and concerns and shit from customers you should look every fucking where you should look in your inbox you should look in your spam box you should look at all of that because you don't know where it could have went to it could have accidentally just got rotted there you know what i'm saying like look at all of it but anyways this lady kept saying that and i was like oh okay well that's fine you know and like you know at that point I didn't want to cancel anything, but I felt like she was pushing me to fucking cancel the order. Like, like she wanted me to say, don't fucking worry about it. I was like, okay, well, I'm fine as long as you got it. She's like, well, it's showing the payment was accepted and that I got it. So, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, oh, okay, well, well, thank you. And I'm sorry that you called me, you know, like before business hours. I could have waited or whatever. And um, she's like, uh, no, it's just, you know, it's just not professional. And like I said, I'm not open. And um, the website explains seven to ten days. It's like she kept fucking reiterating it after I said thank you like 10, 15 fucking times. So... You know, like, she kept going on. I was like, okay, well, thank you. Well, that's fine. I can wait. The, the processing time is not is not an issue. And then, you know, at that time when she started to reiterate the 7 to 10 days again and the unprofessional Instagram shit and all that, I was like, you know what? Can you just go ahead and cancel it? Can you just cancel it? And look what she said. She's like, oh, sure. I can go ahead and do that. You'll get an email in about five minutes. Really? really bitch like really so you just <laughs> you just you like you wanted me to cancel it why you just didn't say that from the beginning because you had no type of rebuttal like not not like a normal company but like but i don't want you to cancel or no you don't have to do that you know i'm just wanting you to understand our processing time and all that no she didn't fucking say that she's like oh let me just go ahead and cancel you'll get an email in five minutes and i'm sorry like okay fine you know and i hung up the fucking phone because now i don't want to talk see this is the problem that i have with these fucking companies and then we try to support your own damn people they the only ones who got to act this fucking way like if it was anybody else like like you why are you acting like 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 you i mean she acting like like it was so fucking hard like it was a big deal like it wasn't a big deal by me asking a question it's not like i was trying to take the money back from you or anything because it doesn't matter but let me tell you something my money is good any fucking where you know what i'm saying like i didn't have to spend 150 dollars for a fucking frontal from you and wait 10 days until you purchase it from fucking aliexpress somewhere and then you know sell it to us three times the amount anyway you know and then uh get it whenever you decide to ship it to me you know i didn't have to do that i could have got it from any fucking where like i said i've already ordered you know two other funnels from another fucking company because you know i wanted to look at all of them and see which one i like the most but like i don't i don't have to do it but at the same time like um i expect you know to be treated like i'm a fucking customer and not like i'm just somebody who you know what i'm saying who just not around see that's the problem and this is what happens with these fucking companies you know when they have somebody who's of a certain like status or whatever like you got tokyo styles you know with like 
fucking 600k almost 600k subscribers and then your 34k ass sitting over here you know you know sending him shit and let him use your shit you sitting right there you know you like you getting all this publicity from him and then you sitting right there acting like you all hollywood now like you know oh i got this person you know using my shit and mentioning me and stuff so this is a hot commodity item you know i'm getting orders and sales and shit from everywhere so i don't fucking have to worry about your little 150 from you that's how i took it you know what i'm saying that's how i took it because you pushed me to cancel it so it's like you know that's how i took it like i don't need your fucking 150 because i got somebody you know who was already promoting me and gonna do whatever you know what i'm saying so i'm sitting here like you know like like what the fuck like i mean this lady went through every avenue to just piss me the fuck off and i just kept trying to say like you know it's, it's fine i'm just get it you know i'm just be like but is she said everything she can possibly say just to make me angry and it's like she even got to talking about, well, you know, we are selling these really fast. You know, they're coming out a lot. So, I mean, we're doing the best we can do with process of time. Okay, motherfucker, since your business is that motherfucking high, whoever your supplier is or whatever the case may be, then therefore, maybe you should go ahead, you know, since you got the money now, you shouldn't have to wait for us to order it for you to go get it from somewhere else that's like, you know, 10 times cheaper and then, you know, boost the price up 20 times for us. Maybe you should just buy more from your supplier because, I mean, since you are hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, you up there now. You, you got the status. You don't give a fuck about my 150 that I was gonna pay you you know so since you're so big time maybe your processing time should be a little fucking faster don't you think like because you're saying seven to ten days to process it that's before the order even fucking ship out so then you gotta add like another four days for fucking shipping before I even get it so I gotta wait a half a month before I can even get an order from you but you know what this is all I wanted to say about this I will never never order from Pinkator hair and give a fuck if any I don't I don't give a damn like fuck her the owner whoever she was that called me I don't give a fuck who it is fuck you your processing time and your motherfucking frontals because my money is good anywhere and I will pay somebody $300 for a frontal before I give you $150 and wait a half a year to get the motherfucker okay but that customer service is 100% horrible I thought that was unprofessional fuck leaving a fucking comment on Instagram I didn't see fucking companies with you know a million subscribers that can sit right there and take their fucking time out and answer a motherfucking customer on Instagram I'm not saying you have to discuss my order on Instagram but if I just say I got a concern and no one's answering me like you can't just sit right there and fucking write on it like really I mean, I got like, what's what's her name? What's her name? Um, uh, that TV show like, uh, cutting it in ATL or whatever. The the girl Maya Sly, the well, not the girl, my bad. The woman Maya Sly, like you know, who has like that on that pretty hair or whatever. I ordered some stuff from them. I filled out something on their website, and they had like a little issue. Um, nobody answered me for like a week or two or whatever and I send more emails and then finally you know I seen she was online I saw her one message and I was like you know I sent y'all an email about the website you know because I was placing an order but uh it won't allow me to order and stuff and this woman like she fucking responded to me like that she's like oh well, this is my personal page you know I don't know why they didn't do it on the business page or whatever like she gave me a number and everything she's like my assistant's gonna call you in the morning this bitch is on fucking tv she's Hollywood you know what I'm saying but she she took her, her time to sit right there and say my assistant will call you like you know give me your number and the next morning her motherfucking assistant called me okay so it's like you know what i'm i'm over it like i'm over it i just wanted to rain about it because it just pissed me the fuck off because i don't understand what was the big deal like i don't find it was a big deal that i was trying to figure out if y'all had the money so i didn't have to you know like i didn't have to go another avenue to pay you before you like sent a product or something like that because i didn't have no no way of knowing if you knew like you know what i'm saying so i didn't find that nothing was wrong with what i asked but for you to call me and to constantly sit right there and keep fucking talking and saying this is my process this is what i do it's like it was taken the wrong way like it was totally misconstrued but she didn't want to hear what I said. But when I said let's cancel, it's like, oh, okay, you'll receive that email in five minutes. Really? You know what? Fuck pink couture hair. Fuck y'all hair. Fuck your frontals. Fuck your weed. Fuck everything about you. Because the only motherfucking publicity you got right now is the fact that Tokyo was sitting right there putting his shit on y'all page. Because nobody else knows about you. And if it wasn't for him, nobody would know about you. So you should be a little bit more grateful and a little more fucking humble, okay?